Hi, my name is Michael Einziger, and I create music. When I met with the directors, um, uh, Kevin and Mike, they were really, really awesome people and um, they kind of explained the film to me and showed some clips to me. They weren't finished editing it, but they were, they were finished with shooting. And um, it just looked really dark and creepy and, um, and uh, something that s seemed like would really mix well with like my musical ideas. It was a really challenging movie to score, actually, um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, the most important being that the movie is all dialogue. Like, there are only two people in the film, really, and the entire time it's two people talking to each other. And um, so it was challenging figuring out where to put music and also to navigate where it would not get in the way of the dialogue. The music needed to sort of accentuate how, um, how empty it was out there and how desolate it felt it must have felt for those guys being out there like that alone so when i was trying to figure out like what kind of palette of sounds to use in the film um the stuff that seemed to work the best was worth were shot long slow moving lines that you know really kind of had these droning um, um aspects to them a lot of the music in scenic route is similar to actually like sounds and things that I would make um, you know during various songs uh, so there there are a lot of parallels in there a lot actually like when I when I'm playing guitar um, I would use a lot of effects um, so that I could kind of create those really long slow moving like droning sounds um, I would just throw a lot of different guitar effects on there together and I would do everything I could actually to make my guitar sound like it wasn't a guitar. I just sort of happened to be playing a guitar, you know, like when I was younger, I just happened to be holding that instrument. But my greater interest in music was always much more sort of how they're all fitting together, like how the instruments are all interacting with each other. Um, and I just was sort of the guy who had the guitar. There's really only other, one other player though on the, on the score other than myself. <laughs> um, it was uh, my fiance, who's a violinist um, named Anne Marie Simpson. There's this, you know, this wide shot that kind of zooms in on Josh's face, and it's, you know, he's covered in blood, and he's got this crazy mohawk, and um, the music's getting more and more intense and really eerie, and there's this horrible, like, you know, high-pitched droning sound that comes in. We recorded all the parts for that in my car on the way to the airport with my iPhone. She was actually sitting, Anne Marie was sitting in the back of, back of the car. I shouldn't even be doing this while I'm driving, but you know, she was sitting in the back seat of the car with her violin playing the parts and I had her do like 30 takes of it. And I just sat there with my iPhone holding it up and recording her. And so she was just going, you know, with these horrible noises. And then when I got to the airport, I imported all of the little voice memos from my phone into, just downloaded them onto my computer and then was able to get it all into a Pro Tools session and then put it all together on the plane and then when I landed I sent it all back to them and they got their cue when they needed it you know it was like right down to the wire and it's funny because it's it sounds really good you know nobody would ever know that it was recorded in a car on an iPhone. The directors they had asked me to to write a song for the end credits um, and Originally, it was just supposed to be an instrumental, and it is still an instrumental, but um, somebody could definitely sing over the top of that. They were joking around. They were like, yeah, let's get Fergie to do it, you know? And I was like, cool, awesome. It's funny, because I know Fergie from, like, way back before she was Fergie. Like, I, I knew her, like, 15 years ago, and I had a huge crush on her when she was in Kids Incorporated. She was, like, so cute. I was like, damn, that Stacy girl.